the Scottish mountains are undeniably beautiful. Their curves and lines beguiling many an explorer. We get so comfortable here that we feel safe and in our element. Yet every so often, something happens to remind us that this is a hostile place and that we should come prepared and acknowledge that however well prepared we are, it may not be enough. And we are lucky that there are those who would volunteer their time to help us should our luck run out. Today's trip is into the UK's largest national park to visit a place I've long read about but never seen firsthand. Morning folks. Today I'm here in the Cairn Gorms and I'm very excited to be visiting one of the UK's most well-known mountain passes, the Lara Gru. Sandwiched in between some of the highest mountains in the UK, an area of extreme beauty. The adventure commenced in the Sugar Bowl car park, the starting point of many a great day out. After popping some money into the meter, I headed out across the road, following a small woodland path. The skies were looking grim. The so far dry morning looking like it wasn't to last. I continued on the path with the Cairngorm ski resort perched over on the mountainside next to the mighty Cora Antonechta. I was closing in on the first obstacle in my journey towards the Lara Gru. A narrow and rocky mountain pass known as the Halaman Gap. The peaceful Cairngorms were relatively busy today with helicopters weaving to and fro across the sky. I thought nothing of it at the time, but I was soon passed by mountain rescue. Hauling a stretcher up towards the gap. In winter 2013, this was the site of a freak avalanche that unfortunately claimed the lives of three people.
looking behind, the mountain rescue team appear to be doing some training. Preparing to climb the rock face, possibly on standby for reasons as I would soon find out. I eventually left the boulder field and into the open. The strong wind tearing at my jacket. Finally, my first view of the mighty Lara Gru. A 10 kilometre passage through some of the UK's most inhospitable terrain. A small path begins a journey into the pass, gradually deteriorating into a boulder field near its highest point. I made my way down the granite staircase, towards the river Alt Drui. The river was crystal clear, filtering its way through the rocks on its way down the Laragru. My plan today was to head up to the pools of D, small puddles of water that supposedly seep from the rocks themselves. I was soon passed by some fellow walkers who filled me in on what was happening in the area. Someone had been missing in these mountains for 48 hours in ferocious winds and driving rain. The helicopters that I'd seen had been out searching all morning. Another helicopter flew overhead. I didn't know at the time, but this helicopter was on its way to Kurar Bothy at the other end of the Laragru to pick up the missing hillwalker who was found, fine and well. A happy ending to an otherwise terrifying tale. Well folks, as usual, the Cairngorms weather had a few surprises in store for us. One extreme to the other. So we're in the middle of the Lara Gru now and we're almost at the Pools of Dee, the destination for today. It's a really spectacular area. You can see the red rocks up on the sides here, where the Cairngorms got their original name from, the Red Mountains. Uh, I can hear a helicopter coming, so I'm going to get on up here now and visit the Pools of Dee. Let's go. I quickly made my way across the boulders to the summit of the Lara Gru. Although it may not feel like it, at 835 metres, this would be a Corbett if it wasn't surrounded by some of the UK's highest mountains. The winds here were powerful and changed direction on a whim, as my camera soon found out. Well folks, I finally reached the pools of D, and it was not what I was expecting. I kind of thought I'd see massive springs of water erupting from the ground, but in reality, it's just a little pool of water there. Uh, there are a few more pools further down, but we're running out of sunlight and we need to t uh, start heading back now. Now there are some impressive sights here though. The full area is kind of enclosed in these massive cliffs surrounding you, and there's March Bun up there, uh, flowing down from the, from the cliffs high above, which is impressive. The weather today has been a bit unpredictable. Um, we're getting blown from all sides, uh, so I think we're going to have a pretty, a pretty tough walk back. But yeah, definitely an area worth visiting. Down the other end of the Laragru there, you can see uh, some of the Monroes, Bodan Join, and some of the larger Monroes in there as well. So yeah, a great walk, definitely worth a visit, but come prepared. Thanks everybody for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button, and I'll hopefully see you next time. Bye for now.